What's happening, home security pandas? Peter Von Panda here. I've made no secret on this channel that Wisecam is my favorite uh, digital wireless camera for the home. And the big reason is it's really feature rich and they are dirt cheap. They're like 20 bucks for the non-movable cameras and $30 for the ones with pan and tilt. Now, I wanna show you this one because I bought it here uh, because on Black Friday, they had a limited edition sale on this limited edition camera. And there is really no other point to it other than the fact that it's limited edition. That's a line from Bad Boys, the original movie. All right, so what we have here is the USB plug in black. You have a micro USB cable to power the camera in black. You have the metal disc, which can be stuck to the wall or something like that so that the magnetic base can stick to it. Now, if you haven't been following along, these are in black because the camera is limited edition black. Now, I don't know that that means anything other than the fact that it is a different color. So just thought it would be worth checking out since I could use an additional camera anyway. And why not get it in the black? It wasn't any more pricey than the, the white ones. So it is a matte black finish. The other, the other ones are kind of a matte white or a glossy white. You can see here the ring here around the camera and the infrared illuminator. That's black on both models. The base is gray on the other ones. And so what you get is this articulating base here that's also in black. So that's not gray. Everything else seems the same. Micro USB goes in there. Uh, USB goes in there. Here's your speaker in the shape of a home. And... This is your motion or light sensor, I think. You have some rubber feet here. And like I said, it's a magnetic base. So you can, I've attached this actually to drywall so I can attach it up there. And then you can not only turn it, but angle it. So once you get into your position, your preferred position, it's going to be, it's going to stay in that position only. But for 10 bucks more, you can get the pan and tilt. Now, this is really easy to set up. You just download the Wisecam app. You actually uh, will hit the reset button, which is on the bottom here. It's also a micro SD card there for you know, storing things locally. And you'll hit that and it'll take you through the process. You'll use the app to connect it. It's super simple. You gotta know your Wi-Fi password. But then you can monitor from anywhere. A lot of people ask me, do you have to be on the home Wi-Fi network? I find that kind of funny because it would defeat the purpose if you're only monitoring things that are just 100 yards away or 50 yards away from you. So yes, if this, this connects to your home Wi-Fi, uh, you can log on using your smart device from anywhere in the world, connect to it and see what's going on. You can hear, you can actually talk back and forth. It has two way, although that seems to not work all that well just because of the delay and the kind of the low quality speaker that's in here. But that being said, this is a unique camera. It's limited edition black, limited edition. Uh, they may still have it on the website. I'm not sure if that was a one day thing or if it's supply until sold out. I will say here though, I wish they offered this color all the time. And the reason is black just tends to fade away into things more. It tends to be a little more subtle. When you have the white cameras, they tend to stick out. They're really obvious. They kind of look like security cameras. I like the black because it can kind of be in the shadows. Uh, you know, it's if, if you're really using it for security and I see a little white camera somewhere, I'm going to slap it off the wall. Uh, but I'm more, I'm less likely to see something that's colored like this and maybe a little more camouflaged and, and subtle. So as you can see, they're very small. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, if you can't get the black, you can get the white ones and they work just as well. Peter Von Panda, out.